OCR GCSE Computer Science, Episode 2, The CPU and the FDE Cycle. In any computer, there are three key components, which all have subcomponents. So you've got the inputs, for example, a keyboard or a microphone, the outputs, for example, a printer, the CPU itself, and storage. In this video, we're going to be looking at the CPU, the cache, the processor and the FDE cycle. The rest of them we'll be looking at in, f in future videos. So the CPU. The CPU stands for the central processing unit. It processes all of the data and instructions that make a system work. So let's discuss the first two subcomponents of the CPU, which is the processor and the cache. Both of these have even smaller parts. So the processor is made up of three things. The CU, which is a control unit, the ALU, which is the arithmetic logic unit, and registers. So the control unit coordinates all activities in the CPU, including execution, decoding, and regulating processor timings. Now you will understand more about what the CU does when we look at the FDE cycle later in the video. The arithmetic logic unit carries out arithmetic operations, for example if you wanted to add, multiply, subtract or divide. Logic operations, looking at things like binary zeros and ones, and binary shifts, moving it to the left or right to double or half it and registers. So registers are very fast memory locations. And talking about registers, let's look at the different types of registers that you need to know. Now I'm gonna walk through the definitions of each of them, but do not worry if you don't understand, because as I said, we'll be going through it in detail in the FDE cycle soon. So the memory address register, MAR, this is where the address of the location in the memory um, which is fetched and stored. So everything, say if you wanted to retrieve a bit of data, you need the address of the of where that data is stored and the MAR holds this. Then you have the MDR, which is the memory data register. This is where the data is fetched. So the memory address register holds the address and the MDR holds all of the data that's held at that memory location. The CIR, standing for Current Instruction Register, holds the current instruction from the MDR and it's found in the control unit. The PC, which stands for the Program Counter, increments to the next instruction, which just means that every time you undergo a instruction and the computer is going through an instruction, your computer needs to be prepared to go to the next instruction and move on. And that's what the PC does. And finally, the accumulator. And this acts as a temporary store of all of the results that happen in the arithmetic logic unit. Now, let's look at the cache. The cache stores frequently used data. Now, the reason why we have the cache instead of just storing everything in the RAM is because the cache is much faster to access than the main memory because it's got a very small storage, but if you're only accessing the frequently used data, it will be much more quicker than the RAM. And hence, this increases the performance of the CPU. So now we know all about the components, let's look at this FDE cycle. So when you want your computer to perform any task, so basically when you want to use your computer, it has to undergo this cycle, the FDE cycle. And this is part of the von Neumann architecture. So the first stage is the fetch stage. Say if you wanted a piece of data that was stored in memory location A. The PC sends the address of the next instruction, so the say if that's getting data from location A, to the MAR. The PC then increments to the next instruction, so it basically goes and finds the address of the next instruction, for example, location B, so that the computer is ready to move on. The MAR, memory address register, then sends the instruction and 
and sends the location of the data to the MDR, and the MDR goes and finds the data that's held in that memory location. The memory data register then sends the data at that location to the CIR, the current instruction register, which is found in the control unit. And this is then stage two, which is a decode stage. The instruction or data is then decoded in the control unit. It then decides whether any further operations are needed to be done. For example, if you wanted to calculate something, and finally, the last stage, which is the execute stage, is that the instruction is then executed. For example, if it was fetched, fetching data, performing calculations, whatever it is, it is then done. And if you understood all of that in one go, then that is really amazing because this is tricky at first. So if you want to watch this video again, feel free to or watch some other resources. The issue is with computer science on YouTube, there's not many GCSE videos. So I hope this helps you as a primary resource. Let's look at some exam questions now. So the first is explain how cache memory is used by the CPU. Pause to answer. Cache is a form of a rapid memory. It stores frequently used data that the CPU can access faster than the RAM. Let's look at another exam question. Describe each stage of the FDE cycle. Now this is a four marker, so you do not have to be as in depth as we went through. Here is an in-depth answer. Pause to have a look at the answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you genuinely found this helpful, do give it a like and tell me in the comments so I can keep making these videos and make sure you subscribe to Know Awful GCSE and in the future, Know Awful A-Level. Again, thank you so much for watching and see you soon.